On Thursday, November 12, 2020, the news of the death of President Jerry John Rawlings broke around midday, sorry, around mid-morning, sending our nation into a state of shock and disbelief. As the news spread, the reality of the loss dawned not only on us, but as a family, but also on the millions of people across the world who loved and admired him for his convictions, which he stoutly defended till his last day. It has been a difficult 12 months, having to live with the knowledge that he's not with us anymore physically. But as Psalm 46 verse one says, God is our refuge and our strength, a very present help in trouble. The Lord has been there for us and for all those who in diverse ways have lost the Lord to a loved one. Flight Lieutenant Jerry John Rawlings was a, a man who one cannot forget so easily. His loving and charismatic demeanor struck everyone he met. And for mom and for us, every day brings new memories of who he was. Larger than life, but still a simple personality with so much warmth and compassion. As a young father, your love and care knew no bounds. To quote from mom's tribute to you, and I quote, you took pride in your fatherly duties. There was no task too tiresome or bothersome for you as you sought to take care of your young family. You struck a chord with the ordinary people of this country and could not fathom why a small group of privileged class had taken over Ghana and consistently mismanaged it. You and like-minded colleagues believed some action had to be taken. The rest is history. Probity and accountability were not just popular words associated with Jerry John Rawlings. You did everything you could when you were leader of this country to live with the ideal and to convince all Ghanaians to follow suit. The journey of combating corruption has been a complex journey for Ghana, but while you lived, you never stopped championing that cause. We're still far from where you wanted your beloved Ghana to be, but your ideals and what you stood for will continue to haunt those who choose to cut corners and achieve undeserved riches at the expense of their people. And this applied to both politicians and non-politicians alike. Your environmental credentials always preceded whatever you did. We recall on some of our trips when you would stop a convoy and together with your security detail, extinguish a raging bushfire before proceeding with the journey. This is not a tribute to dad, but how does one speak about Jerry John Rawlings without remembering all these? Your loss was a loss for the whole country and the pain one felt was by most Ghanaians. Nevertheless, we take this opportunity to thank all we well-meaning Ghanaians for the outpouring of love and support when we lost our dear husband, father, grandfather, and friend. The international community's pouring of condolence was also very moving, as well as the ordinary citizens who shared their tributes, all of which came to form a book that clearly demonstrated who he was. They reminded us of how many lives Jerry Rawlings had impacted. It was indeed touching that many from across the length and breadth of Ghana expressed their sympathies and offered us a shoulder to lean on. In you, we sought and continue to seek our consolation. As many of you join us here today, we join you in sending our love to the belated President Jerry John Rawlings. May his dear soul rest in eternal peace. And we end with the beautiful lyrics of the song just ministered to us by Harmonious Chorale. Tell me, what does it look like in heaven? Is it peaceful? Is it free like they say? Does the sun shine bright forever? Have your fears and your pain gone away? Because here on earth, everything feels, it feels like everything good is missing since you left. And everything is different. There's an emptiness. <laughs> 